Hey, the upload today at least. So yeah, I want to do the upload today because I would have about one person today. You ready to see him? He's right here. His name is his name is Kevin Smith, and he is a weak and pathetic man. You know why? I can tell you why. Now, <clears throat> for the reason why he is so weak and pathetic as a man, because he went out here, right, to, or uh, like, from when he tried to get season two of Human Relations, and he said, please watch it, please watch it, right? Saying like, come out here and, and watch this, and watch a shit show, right? And we all know, we all know, it's not about, it. If people know, people know. People know what this is already. We had to drink or make fun of it. We had everyone make fun of season one of Relations. It was not He-Man. It is about Tila, who is gay. And whoever else was in the show, I'm going to be honest. I never watched it. It was on Netflix. <laughs> I never watched the first season because I did not want to put myself to the torture. They could, they could hit me off in the first episode to bring him back to the last episode... For him to get stabbed again and to him become a barbaric monkey. That's not a good plot, right? And, and when people bombed it, review bombed it, in, in the way that we all should, calling it out as it's not He Man, right? But the people who called him out on it first was Clownfish TV, right? When they called him out on it, saying, like, this is not about He Man, he went out here and told. And he went out here and told Clownfish TV, fuck off. I think. I don't know what he fully said, but if I find it, it's going to be right here. If I can't, then I'm going to put saying I didn't find it. But I know that he did not power. The only thing is, when the show came out, the only thing, when the, the, only thing, when the show came out, yeah, Clownfish TV was right about it. The, the, the uh, Geek Sparkles and... Uh, and the other guy, I, I, I forget their names, sorry. But if I got the names, I'm, I'm sorry in general, but yes. They were right about this, right? And he never apologized to them. That is pathetic, right? But it's funnier now because season two has come out. And he gets out here begging on his fucking knees to people. Like, like he made fun of fans. Who refute bombed it in the correct way possible and who needed it to get done. Right? So he told him to piss off if, if he didn't like it. If he told the audience who, who didn't like it to piss off, and we did, and now he's coming out here graveling on his knees and saying, Can you please watch the show now? Yeah, he's he's doing that now. And I'm like, that is that is a pathetic move. Coming from a guy who thinks that he is perfect. Coming from a guy who thinks he, he knows well. When in reality, he did not know anything about He-Man. He went out here and said that he never watched He-Man. He, the only thing is, he said, uh, he at least said he went out here and said like he, he at least said like he was a big fan of He-Man when he was growing up. But then the interviews show that he was a hypocrite and saying that, huh, what was that? Oh, that's right. He never watched He-Man. He never liked He-Man. Ironic, isn't it? And now that because people have the toys from from Revelations, which no one should have bought the toys in reality, they're gonna make a season two. So yeah, and now he's out here begging audiences, begging fans to come back, even though. When first season came out, he made fun of the fans who didn't like it. Who went out here and said, that's a shit show. Now, fuck off, right? Everyone out here and caught it what it was. A shit show. A crap fest. No one liked it. And yet again, guess who did like it? The critics. Because that's what he's doing. He's shutting out for the critics. Not for the fans. He never cared about the fans. He never cared about the audience. He only cares about critics. Nothing else. And that's bullshit. Come for me, who has watched He-Man, who has watched the last movies with Arnold. I have watched those. Just because they are more better than this shit of a show. And yet again, I watch, right? 
I would say this. I have watched the 2012 version of Flying Cats or Thundercats. You remember that show? Uh, if you don't remember, here's an image of it. I already watched that one. It was weird. <laughs> I have watched some weird shit as a kid. If I if if the year is wrong, here it is correctly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Kevin Smith, you're a bitch, and also you're a pussy. And no, no one will watch your show just because you're coming out here and saying everything else. Just because you want to come out here and say that, oh, oh, please, fans, watch it. And when you made fun of the same audience. So because you want people to come back. No one got to come back. The only people who are, are coming back are critics. No one else is. And yet again, guess what? The drinker are going to talk shit about you. Going to call you a bitch of a man. So, I hope you liked this review today. Or just me coming out here and being myself. And me being a little more better than I was yesterday. But hey, if you like it, you like it. <laughs> but that's it for today, y'all. But I would like to, and help me get to make all the 30 subs. I don't know why. <laughs> It'd be fun to. So yeah, I hope that. <laughs> so later, y'all.